Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. We join you today from the Cimarron Valley Research Station in Perkins where we're talking with Becky Carroll, our Extension Pecan Specialist, about this year's pecan crop. Uh, Becky, just kind of start with an overview of how things are looking at this stage. Well, if you look at the trees here on the research station, it looks pretty good. We've got a really a full crop, too much crop, in fact, that we're doing some crop load management. But across the state, it's a little spotty. Uh, some of our native growers are reporting that they have a good crop and others have a sparse crop to, to little to nothing. Obviously, we talk about drought every week on SUNUP and how it's impacted livestock and crops and pretty much everything we do. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about how the drought that's so widespread has impacted pecans. Right, it's really uh, causing a lot of issues for our pecan growers, especially our native growers who don't have the ability to irrigate their orchards. And during the, the summer months, July and early August, when those nuts are sizing, we, we like to get about two inches of rain or irrigation a week. And so some places haven't had any rainfall since the beginning of June. So they may be very small this year. Now that may reduce our overall production for the state just due to the size of the nuts because they won't weigh as much. And uh, where we may have had maybe 13 million, it may be 11 million pounds across the state. It's kind of hard to tell right now. So in the next phase of growth, we mm -hmm. need water then too, yes. obviously. Yes. So if, if it, if we get what we need, what happens? And if we don't get the rain we need, right. what can happen? So right now, if the pecans are small during the sizing stage, when they the shells start to harden, then we want to have enough water to fill those nuts properly, get nice, good kernel development. And that takes about two inches a week as well. So um, if we have small nuts and a lot of water at that time, then they can go ahead and fill okay. If we have large pecans without that filling rain or water, then we can have um, less quality. Are you seeing any insect pressure yet this year? Um, we are kind of right on the, um, the line when we're gonna start seeing our weevil emerge from the ground. If we don't have rainfall, we may not have a weevil problem this year because they're in the ground. They usually come out of the soil when we get a big rainfall. If we don't have those rains, we may not have weevil problems. But keeping an eye on the stage of the nut development when they go from the water to the gel to the dough stage, that's important because that's when they, the weevil can start laying eggs in those nuts. For this orchard in particular, we were, we were out here in the winter of 2020 yes. and the devastating ice storm here and lots of other places mm -hmm. too. Talk about uh, what you've observed and how these trees have, have rebounded in two right. years time. We, um, we're really pleased with how they have recovered and some of our trees lost maybe 50 to 75% of the canopy. We went ahead and backed off our nitrogen applications because we didn't want them to grow really long, whippy wood that would be weak. So we reduced our nitrogen applications on those severely damaged trees. And then we increased our zinc applications, our foliar zinc. And that really makes good leaf development, good leaf uh, growth and that's what feeds that tree. We're just kind of touching on a few things today, but you have lots of resources available anytime online and, and with folks contacting you. Yes, and uh, we have web page, uh, we have a Facebook page, and um, we also have a field day coming up October 13th, and it will be in the Catoosa area. Great, Becky, we'll look for the information on the field day, always great to see you out there. And for a link to more of the resources that Becky mentioned, go to sunup.okstate.edu.